Be advised, mature content ahead. This podcast is brought to you ad-free thanks to the Legion of Demons at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. If you like what you hear, there's much more at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. Join the Legion. That's patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. And now the show. How do you do? Just a word of friendly warning. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to, uh, well, we formed you. Ah, oh, the French. Uh, oui, oui. Ding dong, my friend. <laughs> Is that leading up to something? On you, the bottle. Or you just shout out the French for no reason. I said, ah, oh, the French, because I was doing uh, drunk Orson Welles. And then yeah. Freddie did a French accent. I was watching monster, movie, monster movies with the French. He was watching mm, monster okay. movies. Monster with the movies. <laughs> What did I say? Do you see how we kind of yeah. uh, checkers king jumped that to get the two of us? That was Freddie, mm-hmm. who was comedy checkering with me. Bing bong. Uh, it was Amy, who kind of said, hmm. Indeed I did. The bing, ding, ding. And uh, Andy was the one who initially asked about yeah. why the French came up in the first place. I don't understand comedy checkers. Bling, 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 bling. And that's not your fault. We didn't let you know that we were playing that game. Well, I play a different version of checkers. We're in, Now we're in the comedy the pinball. Chinese version. We're in the pinball machine now, I th- <laughs> if you didn't notice. Cling, 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 ding, 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 bing. Oh, I keep... Chunk, chunk. Keep, keeps hitting me in the balls. <laughs> the pinball, ma- pinball, uh, pinball machines are you playing that go with chunk, chunk? That's the sound of... Is it the Law and Order one? It's the Law and Order <laughs> pinball game, and you know there is one, by the way. <laughs> you know when the pinball hits the little rubber bands? It's and it goes, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a pin, Law and Order pinball would be mm. pretty fucking Every great. Every time you fucking sink the thing, you get yeah. the chung chung. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I so guarantee they exist. In there's got to be a rapist Oop. with diplomatic immunity spot on the board where the ball runs over That's all of them. That's the pinball LA, uh, uh, all, uh, Law and Order SVU. Oh, okay. It's a different game. And the, they're like diplomatic immunity. We just you watched know my a good wife is? with diplomatic immunity. <laughs> yeah. Good wife is your Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. There's seven it seasons. It constantly comes up in conversation. Yeah. In, in old TV shows and movies, diplomatic immunity could get you out of anything. Yeah. And then they had to figure out how to get around that. Yeah. If you were the bad guy. And they were always a bad guy. They always were. Basically the same kind of bad guy, too. Always yeah. a sex predator. Yeah, with a greasy greasy mustache or something. something. Or his hair slicked Or it's back. the friend. Or it's their friend. Yeah. That they have to. Anyway. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Everyone. And Amy, mm-hmm. <laughs> since she said my name, <laughs> I wanted to acknowledge you because I don't think you've got to acknowledge yourself. Oh, that's right. Because I, of these two jokers had to go on and on. Ching, I ching, am ping, the ping. least important member of the Night of Living Incorrect. Podcast, according to my friends. You are the beating heart. I don't know how to make the sound of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're no black guy from Police Academy. <laughs> yeah. Sir, I worked with the black guy Michael from Police Academy. Michael Winslow. Academy. Michael Winslow. Sir. Yeah. Oh, no black guy from Police Academy. He just was here in town recently, he was, I that's feel right. like. Yeah. Well, yeah. See, does he's he awesome. like, do the comedic tap. shows? Yeah. That's all he does. Michael Winslow does he was. he make jokes? sounds the whole time? He Probably. was. That's what he did. That's why he got Police Academy. Michael Winslow already was doing what he did for Police Academy. Showbiz used to be a different thing. He made that shit. He was, he's the I mean, master. I, no, I'm saying good, great for him to take that uh, shtick and make a career out of it, but I don't mm-hmm. know how it translates to stand-up comedy. He should have a TikTok. It's more of a sit and listen to this guy make noise this <laughs> show. Uh, so it's like, <laughs> give me a, a machine. <laughs> Isn't it funny? See, he could have been huge. Yeah. On te- there was like yeah. a million oh. years between times when he could have really mm-hmm. used that as a career. The early 80s uh-huh. through to the mid, trickling, but into the mid 80s. Then there was just dry, dry, yeah. dry, dry. That's why you would dry. walk by so many like homeless encampments with guys going. Brrr. 
Ooh. Yeah, it was. It was a dry, dry time. Those a were all the, all the Michael's Winslows that were out of work. A druft, if you want to say it wrong. And then there was a brief time, YouTube exploded, and then it was like, I can make noise. And then it was like, mm, that's not really what we do here. And then it, <laughs> YouTube, we make noises. A few more years, and then TikTok yeah. and, and shit. And now you could do it again, and you'd yeah. be huge. If you did it right and you looked yeah. right, yeah, and you to do it, <laughs> child. <laughs> so many eighties references. Anyway, uh, it's feedback show. Did you know? <laughs> Could you tell? We have no rules. We're we're a niche That's podcast. Right. We're crimping, man. We're crimping. I ripped that bong before I came here. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta unlock weed. <laughs> I got. Can I say something? Who though? likes to get high? Let me say. I got it. I do have to say something that makes me mad. Please. Do. Yeah. Because there's like this group of people who like want to say like drinking is okay, but they're still weird about marijuana, and they always do. Maybe you've had this friend. You're maybe you're a person who indulges or enjoys marijuana, and you have that friend who is like. Mm, they're kind of square. They'll drink for sure. Mm -hmm. But, and then when you tell the, when, when they'll tell you all the fucking time, Oh, I, I'm, I've had like four, uh, fucking old fashions tonight. Whatever. You don't ever say shit about it. You do some you fancy friends? Do you, you don't ever say shit about it. You're never like, Oh, maybe slow down. But <laughs> you let you say, who just fucking did two bong rips and I am baked. They're like, yeah, brother. Yeah, man. Hey, Chung. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. What? Fuck off. The, is this your square friend who is, who is mocking you? I think you this for is like high? me specifically. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> two people. Okay, nobody's judging you. Well, here's you know, the reaction of the square friend in this scenario is what threw me. Cause yeah. that when you're like, they, it sounded like they were happy for you. No, they were mocking. Were they you. mocking mo you? It was mocking. Oh, so, so I you're, see. you're, you're, you're uh, fulfilling every stereotype of the stoner. Like you're paranoid that people are. <laughs> I'm not, well, I've heard it, but I've heard it. And people talk, they're like, I just don't like the culture. No, I get it. Like, like recently, it, we've been accused of you know spiking people's food with weed. Yeah, what is the culture? I mean, like you yeah, they're pot it, leaves. Yeah, and, they're, that's a thing. But that I that's too that's such a small percentage of of it. To be fair, before I before I realized I was sick to come over here <laughs> Saturday night. Yeah. yeah, so we were gonna come over for Beavis and Butthead, and we like I'd been my stomach had been weird all day, but I thought I was okay. We and we were dressed like we were walking out the door when it really hit me in all white. And I did have like blue, white gym, uh, not gym shorts, uh, jean shorts on. Uh, oh no! But we were we were decked out. Elise had this super tight uh, dress on with her. She has this body chain with like little pot leaves on a gold body chain, and I have this fucking <laughs> pot leaf necklace with these big <laughs> fucking flavor flavor right plastic after, pot after leaves. I'm like, that's such a small percentage. <laughs> I like green beads, <laughs> and we totally were wearing those over here. I was so excited. <laughs> we'll, ha we'll have to do it again. Thing, I'll celebrate marijuana with you any day of the week. Yeah, but also like. I know I can understand there's people out there. They have, they don't want to understand what the culture is. The culture is we're relaxed people. I guess I want to say <laughs> you that know, it, if you think drinking is okay, you don't no, think pot is okay. We're not, you're wrong. Check, check your shit. And yeah. we're also not 20 year old uh, stoners because everybody knew those kids in college that made getting high their whole life. Oh, I waited yeah. till my forties to become a stoner, and I think that's the way yeah, to do the, it. It's the kids that had the uh, the pot leaf flag in their room. Mm -hmm. uh, Subscribe to High Times. <laughs> it is See, fun. If I had that shit, like I would never have been able to hide my weed uh, at all. If like I was displaying it all over the house that I love marijuana. Do you understand? Like my parents smoke weed, I did, and they would have taken it. <laughs> well, I I would have all, I would have weed. been that person in my twenties. Except then I got married to someone who put the kibosh. So mm. I was just, I was just blossoming you, into you were a stunted in, by. into a, a twenty four year old to a relaxed stoner. person. And we uh, like we prefer a relaxed person. A relaxed now. person. Well, I was already pretty relaxed, but then I was like, oh, I can now also <laughs> feel good. And uh, yeah, man. So here we are. I, anyway, we I were, sorry. It was just a pet peeve yeah. that I aired. I try not to do that anymore, but. Sure. Come to think of it, all the wizards on the wall were probably a dead giveaway, though. 
Mm-hmm. There was a lot of wizard paintings. It was all wizard paintings. I had like an inordinate amount. Amy can vouch. She yeah. saw them. When we first started like dating, I still fire had and ice. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like this dragon. But what, that's awesome. My you room looked like the side room. of yeah. like some ball guys. On it? Yeah. I love it. Did you not have regular light bulbs? It's all black light. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, it was. there's a chance I might paint a room like that. Did you have a pet lizard? You know, honestly, I, there's parts of me that really miss it. Yeah. Where I'm like, I, love I, it. I wish I still had like that 1970s era Dungeons and Dragons aesthetic in my house somewhere. Yeah. Well, maybe you can help me. Do the basement up that way. That would be fun. Yeah. Time to get your paper and your pencils. <laughs> it's design time, kids. <laughs> R.I.P. Who? Uh, Bill Cosby's uh, uh, soul belief in, in, uh, in him in being my a life. person. Yeah. Because you did picture pages. Yeah, picture pages. Hey, he was released, so he's that means he's innocent. Right? Oh, well, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Well, so here we are, uh, Monday. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's, it's a feedback show and, uh, we're here to just relax. We're just relaxed. Yeah. We're relaxed so we're people. Not... So you, so, uh, tell me know. friends, cause I wasn't with you cause I don't do parades. How's pride? How's Cincinnati pride this year? It was hot and it was butts <laughs> to nuts. Yeah. Wall to wall. The was, city was full of proud folk. It was really nice. It's awesome. It was so packed. It was so packed that I I almost freaked out, man. <laughs> he almost went on a, a hate crime spree. <laughs> He's I, like, never mind. <laughs> I take it all back. I was just like, I looked at Andy and I said, when we were in a, a line that was maybe 800 people deep for a corn dog. I'm very happy. <laughs> I, I'm very proud of my friends in the LGBT plus community. They really came but, out in force. But the problem is I looked at Andy. I hate a crowd. And I have to include myself in this um, because I'm one of these people. I was like, if all the straight people here weren't here, this would be a much better time. But then you wouldn't be because there. then I wouldn't be there. But I meant like the straight people who are literally just straight people going to Pride because it's another festival. You think people do that? No, you don't think so? No, I think people were like genuinely decked out. Like everybody had something. I don't think yeah. people go to it like they go to like Taste of Cincinnati yeah. just on like on a. Yeah, I don't. You I have don't. to want to go to Pride. Yeah. Yeah. Well. It was Freddy's probably, just mad because he didn't like the lines. He I didn't, get his, he didn't get his corn dog. I was just saying, if a little less pride, I could have had a corn dog. <laughs> oh, you never got your corn dog? No, man. Did you get a t- funnel cake? No, man. No, man. Couldn't get in anything. You wouldn't even believe these lines. The lines were like, it was like Woodstock ninety nine lines. But and the I parade, was, we were gonna start slinging mud. The parade was wonderful. <laughs> That's not mud, baby. <laughs> it's doo-doo, baby. <laughs> um, I got to shake our uh, sheriff's hand. Oh. And she's lovely. She's uh, a lesbian. Yeah. She was there she with was her beautiful hold, wife. Holding hands, walking down the street with her wife. It's really cool. And she was waving at us. And I was like, oh my gosh, I voted for you. And she came over and shook my hand. And I was like, I love you, man. I know we're not supposed to love the cops right now, but I like her. I saw a drag queen and I was wearing a t shirt. <laughs> that wasn't the thing. <laughs> there I were a lot of drag, drag queens. queens. That's like, I, I saw a drag queen and I was wearing a shirt. <laughs> I saw a Vulcan at the Star Trek convention. <laughs> I saw a drag like queen. He's four years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, then, my I, blo- then I saw uh, people walking, and then I saw a dog. <laughs> it was supposed to be bologna, but it was peanut butter. And uh, anyways, I was I saw this drag queen, beautiful drag queen. She was on a float. Floating by. And I was wearing my former employer's, uh, it was the only pride shirt I had, and it had the logo of the company I used to work for on it. And she points at me and goes, I work there. And they became best friends. And we bonded moment. for a Aww. second there. Freddie doesn't work there anymore. Though. I don't and, anymore. And did you, did you like shout back like what, where you were with things? Like, oh, I, I don't like, work there anymore. Like, did you like run alongside yeah. the I used to yell and I was floor. like, what's apartment? <laughs> oh yeah, I think I know what floor that's on. Then he became part of the parade inadvertently. Yeah. Um. Uh, the lady running for governor here in Ohio hoped to God, Nan Whaley, she was there. So that was cool. Yeah. Uh, Aftab, cool. who is just, I'm sorry, we he, have a he, hot he's, mayor. He's, uh, <laughs> he's daddy. Yeah. The mayor of Cincinnati, look him up. Hot mayor. Anyway. Hot mayor. 
Hot mare. If hot you mayor. go to the subreddit hot mares, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe there's many. It's very niche. Cincinnati yeah. hot mare. Uh, you're not very popular. <laughs> uh, take uh, Cincinnati hot mare. Uh, can I get it with sauerkraut and side of. Mm. Did you say you wanted a hot mare or a nightmare? <laughs> hot nightmare? I'll take the hot nightmare. No, wait, now we're in Maine. Yeah. I love to do it. Oh. <laughs> you love to go to Maine? I love to do Maine voice. Maine Why voice. can't we always be in Maine for Maine voice, man? <laughs> uh, uh, there, by the way, speaking of Maine voice, there is a real show coming out called like Louisiana Justice. And it, I started thinking about that Maine SNL Justice. Maine Justice <laughs> get where they're Louisiana like speaking like Kate or they're talking Cajun accents. Oh man. And it, it's, it's such a, it's one of my favorite sketches by the way, because it's completely yeah. stupid and repetitive and silly, but those are my favorite. Wait, were they displaced by Katrina and that's why they moved? They were having, I don't know if there was an Maine. explanation. I, I honestly don't know if I there almost, was, I felt like something, I heard something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, can you verify it? Can we get someone <laughs> on that? <laughs> Uh, Does anybody know? I kind of hope not, because I love... It's the, even better when it's more bizarre. I love that it's just so absurd. That yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Mean justice. Anyway. Uh, YouTube that shit if you have never seen it. Please do. It's so fun. Unless, you, you know, unless so you... Uh, this Louisiana Justice, what is it? Like it's a crime show. Crime show. Yeah. It's not hilarious, I don't think. It's not? It's not it, Is it... It's not a docu series or whatever. Crime is often not, not real. It's the usual true crime shows. I think it's a true crime. Oh, it's true crime. You know, yeah. Talking it's not heads. a crime show like uh, The Good Wife or I gotcha. Law and Order. It's a discovery crime show. It's a true yeah. crime. Show. Take a shot every true time crime. Kelly Tatea says "Good Wife" on the show. Good wife. <laughs> <laughs> good wife. It's called Good Wifing, <laughs> <laughs> and it's are, expensive. Are what the kids are doing it, <laughs> 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 or just Kelly? <laughs> uh, Kelly mentioned earlier that. Um, <clears throat> I watched, watched The Good Wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Presented by Charmin. Just one good wipe. Yeah. We watched uh, the new Beavis and Butthead movie. Yeah, speaking of stoning, stoners, I mean. Oh my God. I have not laughed so hard <laughs> in so long. I don't know if I was laughing because it was generally funny or because. <laughs> Freddie was laughing so no, goddamn much. Because, like, because. Beavis and Butthead, they're so infectious. Yes. Yeah. That you laugh just because you, you're you anticipating the joke. It was genuinely <laughs> yeah. funny. It was like masterfully written. They set up <laughs> jokes. I am serious 100% that this is some smart comedy. I know that people, like they they are, he's, Mike Judge is such a genius, and I don't know how much of this he's really responsible for and how much of it's his team, but taking that like, Beavis and Butthead, those characters and everything you expect out of them mm -hmm. and subverting it in a way and adding some heart to it to bring it kind of more, to make it a more modern movie. And it's like, it's so seamless. And the jokes, like the self-referential stuff is so spot. Yeah. It's fantastic. Spot? Spot. Spot, spot, on. spot on. Okay. Um, it's, it was lovely. I'm gonna it watch was. it again. Not, yeah, I need to watch it like um, by myself, away from people where everybody's we're gonna be more not analytical. laughing. We're gonna hear it because <laughs> yeah. Freddie's going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was I was right there along with him, but we were laughing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were laughing. <laughs> we were laughing. <laughs> Am I, I the Beavis or you're them. the but or you're the Butthead? Oh, I don't know, man. If we um, if you and I were Beavis and Butthead. I feel, I feel like Freddie is Beavis. I I am more this. Beavis. Yeah. Because I think I have more Cornholio in me than Andy does. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. For sure. Our, our skulls for are normal sure. shaped, aren't they? More or less. Well, mm. That's what we've been telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see my own skull. This is a great example of what's great about this movie, too, is they acknowledge that Beavis and Butthead's musculature and skeletal, <laughs> skeletal structures are different than other human beings. They are literally mistaken as aliens at one point. It's fucking great. Cause the rest of the animation is like in the style of Archer. And then you have Beavis and Butthead. It's very, kind of like what they were doing with that new Chip and Dale rescue Rangers movie where they kind of blended in animation styles. Who knew that Who knew? we could say that about those two movies that they are a riff on each other. Who knew? Hulu. Yeah. That's who. 
Uh, I think my favorite part of the movie was that you'd think that Beavis and Butthead are anomalies in this universe, but everybody is a buffoon and yeah. stupid. It's true. Yeah. Well, also, it's such a throwback to like old Charlie Chaplin yeah. movies and stuff where you have a character who, or Mr. Bean's like the more modern example of that, like where this character just makes the worst possible decisions yet always comes out on its feet like a cat, you know, mm-hmm. always landing on its feet. And that's Beavis and Butthead. They always come out ahead on no matter feet. what they do. Yeah. Feet. On their feet. All four of them. <laughs> they do have four feet. I just laugh. Think about it. Because if they fell like that, like, a, like people, uh, and you uh, landed on all, that would be weird. It would hurt their hands. Yeah. Their little handies. Yeah. The cat people land that way. Yeah. You know the cat people. I do. So, um, also this week we watched Head of the Family. It was on Joe Bob. Yeah. What, a, gr- what a gross movie, isn't it? I love that movie. <laughs> I saw it for it the first gross. time. Like uh, it's kind of last wonderful, year, but it's just that that, that licking scene. Oh, that yeah. giant tongue! <laughs> yeah, it's so gross. They said it took three men to operate that. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? I haven't, but f- yeah, no, I haven't. It, I think, okay, here's an example. Mm-hmm. Most exposition in the movie comes through sex scenes. Oh, yeah. cool. I like that. Like, and there's lots of them. Yeah, it's pretty, and they're funny. Like, and but you have they're a still former, sexy. You have a former porn star as the main lead, so she knows what she's doing in that regard. Yeah, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? It's hilarious. It's gross. It's like, it's just crass. It's very lowbrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's super crass, but it's I, like I if, think I might if, love um, it. The people with married children made a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. that's That'd a good example. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, do you know do you know anything about this, Kelly, at all? No. It's, I know it's a full moon feature, right? Do, do you, have you seen Nothing But Trouble? No. You've never seen Nothing But Trouble? That's a... Is that, uh, Dan, Dan Aykroyd. Aykroyd. Okay. Okay. He Moore. plays the multiple roles. But to me, the close, the close, the movie I've seen that reminds me the most of Head of the Family is is Nothing But Trouble, it's, the tone of it. I've been looking for that movie recently, though. Yeah? And Haunted Honeymoon. Can't find it. I that. love Haunted oh. Honeymoon. I love it. Elise and I have been looking for it. I had it at one point. Yeah, I'll have to look. Um, but it has the tone of kind of that sort of thing. It, it like, But it's this family that are so strange and they, they only, they come into town. There's three of them. They never really hardly speak and they all move together and stuff, almost like robots. And it turns out it is just the giant head that lives in the house on the hill. That's like the controls, the rest of them. Mm -hmm. And he's been kidnapping people from town and experimenting on them (laughs) in their brains. Oh, and uh, he has like a dungeon full of, like catatonic and like crazy people it is fucking it's great and they it also feels it also kind of feels like it's in the mama's family universe remember the show mama's family <laughs> love mama's family it does feel like it's in the if mama's family had bush in it <laughs> it would be uh, the family they all have family in it there you go yeah. both of them have that word family family webster's dictionary <laughs> <laughs> um well I don't know, man. I really think you'd love it. It sounds pretty great. Yeah, watching it with Joe Bob's more fun, I think, because they you get a well, lot no, of good because trivia. then he had Charles Band on, who wrote and directed it. <laughs> the guy's a little yeah, a listen. Little he's weird. loud. He's a little long winded. <laughs> it's fine. He made the movie. You can talk as much as he wants. I like I like his vibe, and well, not everything about his vibe, but the the fact that he is really literally just playing games and having a good time as a creator. Charles Band, I mean, mm-hmm. and that he's just like, well, I just keep it going. It reminds me of like why we do this and how we do this is that same vibe of he's like, I'll work with the same people and over again. We're having fun. Uh, I'm just going to keep this thing going until the wheels run off of it, you know? So like, I really kind of admire that. We're pretty long winded too. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> We've been Who's Charles Band? Why should I know him? 16. He runs full moon. He He's really like the. Is he like a um, the boss man? There. Um, who was the trauma guy? Is he kind of like yeah, Lloyd like Lloyd Kaufman? Kaufman. Yeah. Very similar, yeah. only a lot more prolific of puppets. Mm-hmm. And also, like he literally has a look 
Is he master of puppets? To all of his stuff. He like, is master of puppets. It's a uh, full moon, no matter who's directing it. He's kind of the guy who like runs the show. He has other directors working for him, but mm. they all do so, the like, same style of so, movie. So, it, it, like it has, he has his own universe, mm-hmm. right? Kind of. But even yeah, it's more. He did Evil Bong, Kelly. No, I know. Yeah, so oh, like I, I know yeah. Full Moon Features. Yeah, he did yeah. like Ginger Dead Man. And, There's a new Evil Bong uh, coming puppet, out. Puppet, 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 puppet master. master. Yeah, yeah. Puppet, and puppet, evil, puppet, 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 <laughs> and and Evil Toys, right? Yeah, I think so. So he's like a Stan Lee, <laughs> puppet, puppet, yeah. if you will. Yeah, for for sleazy exploitation, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Well, how fun! Trash movies. Yeah, I I, li- I really liked. Uh, like head of the family. That's the yeah. name of the movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> they made a sequel. I didn't know. Did but you know it's that? Like I only saw it once, but I can't forget it just because it's so memorable. That yes. Literally, it's a giant head in wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. He's got little legs. <laughs> I, I saw the painting. Stairs. Yeah. If you, like, oh what? yeah, I made a painting of him. Like he would be <laughs> really adorable if he wasn't so gross <laughs> <laughs> and mean. Yeah. He's pretty. He's pretty mean too. Yeah. He's mean. He's yeah. a mean head. He's mean head. Mean head. Mean head. Mean head. Mean head. Uh, the uh, what was it? Bride of head of the family, I think is what it's called, <laughs> or bride of, or head of the bride of the. Family. I don't know. It has bride and head in it. Yeah. So yeah. head of the bride is that like father of the bride? <laughs> is it that version? And I saw the cover and they're holding hands. There's two of them. Is he? Is he the father of the bride? <laughs> he's got like another head. I guess he so married or he's some like shit. a Steve Martin character. <laughs> he's they mo- find more like head? a Morlock character. He's like the head detective. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, so yeah, or Modoc, not Morlock. Modoc. He looks like Modoc. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, we ready to yeah, I wrestle up a couple <laughs> yeah. of news stories. Well, like, can, yeah. can I just say yeah. something real quick? I don't yeah. know, like it's in the news, but fuck uh Yeah. Clarence Thomas, fuck oh, Alito, my God. fuck Kavanaugh. Fuck, uh, fuck, yeah, it's, it's fuck so disheartening. Barrett, Barrett Coney, you traitor. And fuck Amen. anybody who doesn't believe that women should have choice over their bodies. Y'all, I just can't. I just can't even. It's uh, it's struck- as a person who can get pregnant in this room. I'm gonna climb you can get pregnant in this room. You're right. i could that is possible Uh, Um, like i can't if you if you aren't disgusted and horrified then i don't know what to do with you i don't know how to i don't know how to exist in your reality because Mm. it's it's a it's wrong you're wrong you're just wrong um, as a person who never wanted to have children, you know, I was only able to live a cool life thanks to the access to the things that I have abortion, plan B pills, fucking birth control. All of these things allow me to participate in the world the way I want to, the way I choose to, just like every other man or every other woman in this world. I can do what I want. You sure can do what you want. Well, but anyway. now I don't even know how to articulate how devastating this is for every woman. It's a, no it, matter if they want to be pregnant or not. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. It's upsetting. Mm-hmm. It's just fuck it. Motherfuckers. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, fuck a bitch. I'll put a break <laughs> fuck in your here guns, for the news. Fuck your God. Fuck your babies. Mm hmm. You know what I mean when I say that. So it's, it's a dark day for just yeah. uh, our, our uh, just our society in general, especially for women. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's specifically, but it, it's just no. This affects. I mean, it truly does affect everybody. I mean, it just the worst physical effects yeah. are. And if you don't think it, that we're rep- not headed toward a white nationalist theocracy, then you're fucking not paying attention. Yeah, exactly. But it's just when when you treat one part of your population like they're not even people you know and and we this has happened with many different uh groups of people um when when you take this kind of just deliberate step like it's it's just bad for society Mm -hmm. yeah
Just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I think something is happening. I felt like I, you needed the slight palate cleanser of the news bumper. Well, it's good bumper. that you stopped us when we, because I think we could have gone, we could have been long winded about that. I could have started um, shouting death threats into the mic. Yeah, and, yeah. and, you know, who's to say that you should be stopped? But I feel them me. in my heart. Yeah. Me too. If you're listening, FBI, I feel them. Smile. <laughs> I uh, I could just smile more. That movie Smile's coming out. Well, there's, I thought there's, it was a weird transition. Oh, there there's your problem, man. I uh, I hope it didn't sound like I was interrupting. Oh God, you. no, not at all. I, I if I you just, just let me go, I'm going to start babbling. You're one, of the just, good, you're one of the good Amys. I wanted to uh, <laughs> agree with you. Is all. I know you do. I feel that, and I I think there's more of us than there are of them, but there yet, are. That's yet the, they are. But unfortunately, in the places they need it, to be, it is not a deal breaker for some people, and that's the sad part. Well, that's ridiculous. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta. Uh, you gotta change the vibe, bro. Which is hard because I am very. Uh, well, anyway, it's That's the end the times, news, yeah. baby. So, so here's the thing, right? Yeah. So we just we just watched the final girls, right? Didn't we? Indeed yeah, we did. Great so, movie. So this is a piece of news about something called the last girl. Oh, okay. So it 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 relates in that way. And and they had to a girl in both of them. And and a synonym. Can't last argue with final that. last and final and but this was a singular girl mm-hmm. as opposed to multiple girls uh <laughs> alice eve is in it someone named shelly hennig <laughs> um antonio banderas is in it oh and uh i know it's banderas by the way yeah I like bander ass. It's just funner to say. Well, she says some pretty horrible stuff in the forum, so. <laughs> What'd you do to her? We banned her ass. <laughs> it's, uh, was it Melanie Griffith? <laughs> was. You want to know what it's about? Yeah. Let's find out together. <laughs> uh, it's uh, a private investigator forced into a dangerous alliance with a killer. I thought you were going to say a private investigator forced into a meat grinder. <laughs> By a killer. Is uh is uh, is on or is in order. Wait. Let me start over. A private investigator forced into a dangerous alliance with a killer in order to uncover a quiet town's grisly criminal underbelly. Oh dear. And clear the name of of her mentor, mm. Banderas, Antonio who Banderas. is implicated in the crimes. That is not a good. So she's a PI. She's like the, she's the Padawan to his PI Jedi situation thing here. Sounds like it. And he is suspected. He's probably the killer. I'm guessing. So it's like a Hannibal Lecter type From thing. This description. I guess. I don't know. This is only, this, this doesn't sound, I thought this was going to be something mm. else. Um, <laughs> but, and also that wasn't a very well written uh, thing that they wrote. Is it? <laughs> You're like, don't play I, the article. <laughs> uh, it says here something, something. Uh, no, it just, it was a run on <laughs> sentence. It didn't have a, it never resolved itself. It just. <laughs> violins on TV. <laughs> Is it, is the only reason you read it is because Antonio Banderas is in it? No, it's because it was we just watched Final Girls oh, and, and this is girl. the last girl. Okay. It's more than girl. It is nice. more than girl. The last and the final. <laughs> it's both of those things mean similar things. One is the same exact thing. In fact, it's the singular of the other. Well, this is this has something else to do with something else we've been talking about. Okay. Dangling participles. What? Oh, all right. So you guys been annoyed. That yes. Nev Campbell is not coming oh. back for Scream 6, right? I was yes. like, never. You've been annoyed. Oh. Let's bring her out. But. <laughs> we can't. We banned her ass. <laughs> oh, that was. her ass. Oh, that was clever. And it. Uh, but there's a rumor. Nev Campbell mm-hmm. may have secretly. This really does sound like a. I guess that's the definition of a rumor or something that you just know. may or is probably not true, uh, but <laughs> may have secretly signed on to Scream Six. Now, I'm. I have. I had this thought the other day. 
Mm-hmm. I was like, what if this is all a smoke screen so they can secretly bring her back as like the killer? Oh, yeah, boy. Which I think we sh- I think Sydney should just probably I don't know that I want For like that the for last her. number of movies I always thought it was going to be her. <laughs> and then it never was. I would yeah. love that twist. That would be so cute. Mm, they, that would be a really tough one to pull off I to, think, tone for the tone i think it would be so cool but i'm not one of those people i'm not like a superman guy who gets mad and they make superman dark because yeah i like moving characters and i like taking an iconic yeah. thing and fucking around with it yeah but you know it's still gotta have like something to it does it no i guess not <laughs> sometimes it's just fun to see superman tear someone in two and i mean why like if you think about what's like again ev- you're thinking superman from the comics right yeah it's got to be that but what if you take superman out of comics and it's what if superman is a real creature did you watch brightburn no oh my god because i heard that it was bad well whoever told you that is an asshole a lot of people said <laughs> it was really bad. good well this world has a lot of assholes in it all right i got one too the movie's fucking awesome i want to watch it <laughs> you should okay now that uh she's rumored to be on or does it make you want to see it now are you asking me i don't want to be in general yeah i um, have no i don't i don't care like it's way. like just the idea that they wouldn't um but i i don't think they she, left her out in the first place these is just a bad taste in my mouth well i think she i don't think she would allow herself to be used in this way by using the women trying to get what they're worth yeah. and knowing their own value. I don't think she would use that movement as a marketing ploy. No, it's not that it's like the, the movie, the movie makers themselves at these, right. these a bad taste of mouth that they would even consider not right. putting her in it and giving her what she's worth. I already, th- I just think that's probably a bad rumor, but who knows? Mm. All right. I got one more piece okay. of news. <laughs> and this to me sounds pretty cool. Pretty cool. The sequel mm-hmm. to Mad Max Fury Road, oh, Furiosa, finally, huh? has an official plot synopsis. Is it called Wingardium Furiosa? It is. <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 see if it's in this article somewhere, and I'll I'll read it to you. I'll recap the first while okay. he does that. All right. See, in the future, it's called Guzzoline. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a Morton Joe, and he's got a CPAP machine. And then another guy's on fire. And some people like to huff paint. And one guy likes to shoot flames out of his guitar. And that is fucking badass. <laughs> you ask me. <laughs> so I so, think this is a pre- feel pretty caught up. It's yeah. not a sequel. I think it's a prequel. It is. Yeah. It's her oh, story. It's uh, Anya Taylor Joy. So it's not going to be... And you're going to see a young Immortan Joe. Anya Taylor Joy. Mounds don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, because I love that movie. It actually, I think, is my favorite of the Mad so Max So there's movies. two candy bars. There's, Almond, there's Anya Taylor Joy's and there's yeah. Anya Taylor's. There's and, Anya. Then there's, <laughs> and then there's Anya Taylor Mounds. <laughs> Just Mounds. <laughs> Uh, I've only be seen Taylor Joy. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen the second one, right? And then Fury Road. Yeah, you've only you haven't seen Thunderdome yet. No, but and, I will and, say and Road that Warrior. You probably wouldn't like Road Warrior. Fury Didn't Road was Road Warrior. Amazing. Wait, no, you haven't seen which was the Mad first? Max. Mad is Max the, the first one. Yeah. You haven't seen the Mad Max, the very first one. I don't think you would like. You might. We saw Road Warrior, which is Mad Max two. Mm-hmm. And then you haven't seen Thunderdome, which is Mad Max four. That's my favorite one. Is it? I love it. Well, movie. just because of mostly Tina Turner. <laughs> Well, she's awesome. Wouldn't it be Mad Max 3? It's 3, honey. You yeah. got a little ahead of yourself. See, that's where <laughs> that's where your Roman numerals fail you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we learn those in school? Uh, so we would know the copyright dates at the end of sitcoms. <laughs> when they're talking about Super Bowls, so you know. Mm, that's the only reason. <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't get anything out of school then. Yeah. Which is actually <laughs> mostly true. So that's the news. Well, did you watch the Smile trailer? I don't know. What smile? <laughs> it's a horror movie, and it looks it's scary. Like, but it's got that goofy guy on the on the poster, right? It's an Ethan Hawke movie, right? No, that's that is black the Black Phone. Phone. That's supposed to be really good. The yeah. Black Phone is yeah. the Ethan Hawke movie. Yeah. yeah, it's the one that's out now. Smile. It is, seems like. It, it, oh, it, it, smile! I did see yeah. this. I yeah. did. Yes. Looks like it follows it's kind that, of. I'm pointing it, at is you. It like, uh, is it yeah. based on like a Japanese, like a manga or something? It seems Japanese. Maybe, but it's just literally like 
the characters just start seeing people like just mindlessly smiling everywhere in the trailer. Yeah. Well, I think that's also kind of like the thing in the movie from what I gather, it might be like almost like the, like a thing from the ring only it makes people like these weird smiling people. Like it's like black hole sun music video. <laughs> it's like dumped out all over. <laughs> we just watched, <laughs> we were watching yeah. some Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Oh, they, did they watch the black hole sun video? Yeah. Yeah. They, they had the black hole sun video. Oh, that's all, I'm yeah, like, that's oh. where everybody found out yeah. about it. That's how grunge happened was because of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> That fucking video. It's a great video. With your eyes get all big oh, and yeah. just dripping ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> fucking place. Well, the funniest thing is to see, like, you when it, when that first came out, everybody was like, that video is actually really freaky. And now it plays as a parody of how freaky it was. It's the same video. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? But, like, when totally. you watch it, it's it's so, it's, it is the penultimate, like, fucking ridiculous of 90s design. Yes. Crammed into one package. Like, it's everything that was bad about 90s design just in there together, rubbing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Rubbing. Yeah. Chafing. Chafing. It's it's something. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's frictious aggravation. But, yeah, it's a smile. Yeah, so oh. smile has that kind of crazy effect which i was i felt was played out right like this when i first saw this the still i was like i'm oh, creepy smiling whatever <laughs> you know la ti da and then i watched <laughs> the actual video and i was like all oh, that they made it of work they made it work something that is so played out it looks fresh well, there's probably more to it than just they smile yeah. at you yeah they smile at you though no they do do that <laughs> yeah. i know i noticed that when yeah. i watched the trailer and one of their necks goes like Rumph. yeah I what? caught that oh. part. Yeah, one of them, their neck is like, uh oh. I, I feel like there might be more to the mystery. <laughs> yeah. That was from the movie Neck. <laughs> <laughs> neck. You're thinking of Neck. Neck, <laughs> neck Campbell? Neck, neck Campbell. Campbell. Oh, and then uh, there's the uh, the invitation, which is like the Brides of Dracula. Yeah, and Natalie too. Emmanuel, which That's I saw cool. that piece of news, but yeah. it just seemed like too who much to Natalie, read. Who is Natalie yeah. Emmanuel? She's in uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. Oh, she's um, Daenerys's friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> that bitch, Daenerys. <laughs> it's Daenerys, right? I don't. I'm just not sure who you're talking about. The lady who got her head cut off. Oh, right. Okay. Is that her? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I God forget damn what it. her name. No, I don't. No, no, no. Mel- Melisandre. Melis. No. No. no Melisandre is the. That's the witch, witch kind of. Yeah. Oh. She's the one who. Didn't she birth out like a... She birthed a demon. A demon, shadow demon thing? She did. Yeah. She birthed it. Anyways, this looks cool. It looks like a Hammer horror movie kind of, but like for, like that for Kate today's Bush kids. Yeah. And then... Uh, and you, Do I you can't, think... Did I, you guys figure out who you were talking about? Well, I know who I'm talking about. Not who Andy was talking about. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think we leave that one alone. Well, though. the problem yeah, is I've only seen the first and last season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Oh well, she wasn't in the first. Season he was in the last sure. one. If, I've if, seen all if it is of the lady it. who I'm thinking of, I don't and know. I don't if it's remember her Someone's name. losing their shit listening to <laughs> no, this. No, I no because I I you know it happens on every podcast. She's in other stuff too. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'm not stalling, so Freddie can. Natalie Emanuel, you were correct. Yeah. That's because I saw it on the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, Evie was, she was, yeah, she was Daenerys' like hand kind of before the, she had a different hand. She was the, she was the head of the, all of the slave people that she helped free. Oh, okay. Uh, she, she was one of the, the leaders. Yeah, there. The, the yeah, big guy chopped her head off. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Well, it's been a few <laughs> years and nobody liked it. So whatever. That's true. Nobody did. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it looks cool. Um, did you say we had a voicemail? We do. From Dustin? Sorry that we, uh, that, that we... It was 16 years. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I was just saying sorry that we didn't play this when we first got it. We're yeah, bad. sorry. I hit the button and then it was a lost cause. Uh, yeah. It, my, you know, part of it was my email, my show email. I just didn't have it. We switched to like Microsoft from what we used to have and I didn't have access to my email for like two months. I didn't even know it. Didn't even know. Didn't know. <laughs> All right, let's listen to this bad boy. 
Who is 16 years? Obviously, it's mmm. Sometimes I still let's see. Let's do the math that I have a listener. So listening. So congratulations on 16 years, bro. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can you say congratulations? Okay. She went quiet, life. She went quiet. You know, when we show them pretty much me out back anytime I talk to her, that's how I cats are. Well, okay. Well, love you guys. Bye. I feel like I'm tripping balls right now a little bit. <laughs> was that? What is that? It was so rhythmic. It was poetry and I loved it, but I can't say exactly. I mean, I know what the 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 gist of the, the message was. And thank you very much. Yeah. Tessa. I feel like we all need to thank write a report you. on it and compare and contrast. I think we're all I worried that it's a reference. It. And we're trying yeah. to and we're not cool enough to get it. Yeah. And, but we're also worried that it's not a reference. Right. And we're also, we don't want to say that. And we're like, ah, but no, I, yeah. Dustin, you've been with us a very long time. And uh, so we, I, whatever uh, meaning lies hidden within that message that we may or may not suss out one of these days, I appreciate <laughs> you personally and I'm, I'm happier in my life. Yeah, and as well as your key cats, and it's it's yeah, it's, same. it's, it's, it's just so distinctly and, and distinctively Dustin. Yeah. It is. Yeah. He, he's he's one in a million, man. Yes, sir. And uh, he hangs out with us at the meetups every week. Mm-hmm. I love the meetups. The meetups lift my heart out of the mud. Here come the meetups. One of these days, Kelly and Andy should come to one. I'm like the I'm the mother who guilts the members of the family who don't come to. Uh, the nursing home to visit. The grandma. nursing home, yeah. The, the Thursday night like, meetups are my nursing home visit it, time. It, it smells like pee. <laughs> it does smell like pee sometimes, though. Well, worry. quit peeing in here. Um, I'm just kidding. If this is I, your first time listening or you're confused, um, if you go to patreon.com slash NOTLP, you can be a patron. You get access to the weekly meetups. Yeah, and also uh, all of our bonus content, like Origins, where we listen to old episodes mm-hmm. and then realize that we were maybe assholes sometimes. And yeah. We explain. And eventually, we have merch sometimes that goes <laughs> Lots of things you get as a oh, patron. Yeah. yeah. Kelly is, is laughing because he's just a little behind. He's a tiny butt. Oh. Aww. So cute. He's a little behind. Which you, you would think would be off-putting, but I'm adorable. <laughs> I just stand on the table, and it's just cheeks. They're like, I and can't be mad you, at those little cheeks. Sometimes you think I'm a... Some people think I'm a peach. <laughs> and then when they pick me up, they're like, oh... <laughs> So they just and then they set me back down. <laughs> so Your just, butt is as tiny as a peach. I'm I'm a, a little, I'm a tiny I'm a tiny butt. Okay. <laughs> He's a little bit bunny. He's made out of buns. Okay. Um. Yeah. We, Thanks, speaking Dustin. of tripping balls. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so thank you, sir. So you're not like Pee Wee Herman. Like everybody has their a huge butt or something. <laughs> everybody What's has your, their butt, Dottie. <laughs> What's your big butt, Simone? Yeah. Simone, the big I want to talk about your big butt. Yeah. Simone. The big butt. <laughs> so you're not Pee Wee Herman. You got a little butt. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, or uh, origins. We said that already. The meet Topicana. Ups. Topicana. Kelly, do you Topicana. know your question yet? Oh, you want to tease your squeeze? Oh. <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have one, do you? That's uh, a stalling tactic. He's like, if I make an O long enough, oh, I can think of a question in the O within oh. the O time. I'll I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tweet. I'll, I'll 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 think about it. Okay, and then I'll put it in the group. Thank you. And and everyone can know it. Or I'll put it on the page. I'll put it out in the world pubically. <laughs> and then it'll be like I teased it here, but just later and on some social media platform. Maybe you could break into like Xavier School for Extraordinary Children and use Cerebro. I thought you were talking about uh, the college. I thought you were going to say Xavier's School for uh, Veterinary for, Medicine. For, 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 yeah. <laughs> For uh, that, that's a vocal humor, right and there. Then you didn't. I uh, think I took like five seconds to like suss something else out in mm-hmm. my head, and you I moved lost. on. <laughs> Sounds pretty sus. Uh, I was just saying, no okay, you should use cere- Cerebro because it's the most direct. Cerebro, the teenage witch. Okay. Yeah. 
The rebirth before hose. That's great. <laughs> oh, the, the, all the nerds oh. listening know, right? Andy gets it. Andy's full of Zawos this a- week. Andy gets Cerebro. And Amy. Cere- Cere- yeah. Did you say Cerebros <laughs> before Cerebros? Yeah. yeah. Well, you just said Cerebros yeah. before hose. But you plussed uh, it. You did plus it. Uh, I, I knew like telepathically <laughs> what Andy was thinking without actually hearing it necessarily because I was jibber jabbering. He was. It was more like a Sabrino. <laughs> Sabrino ho. Say yes to the dress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, at this yeah. time of day, yeah. we tend to thank our patrons yes. <laughs> in some kind of order from a list of their names that we possess. Uh, is that a paper that you're looking at? Uh-huh. Yeah, she's using paper, man. Is that we, the first time you just realized that? I don't want to use screen. Uh, no, I I'm, I'm, I think that's awesome. It is the first time I've noticed it. <laughs> is that paper? It's been like this for months, uh, everyone. <laughs> it's that- real paper. This is like a sci-fi movie where they're like, did you have, did you have real paper? <laughs> you have a tomato? <laughs> well, I have to guard that tomato. I'll, I've murdered over that tomato. I've cut throats. <laughs> Um, uh, FYI, we're up to seven tomatoes sprouting out back. I yeah. can't wait to eat your tomato. Yeah. I can't wait to be feed good. you my tomatoes. Can't wait. Yeah. My tummy growl just then. All right. Let's get started. These are the Beelzebubs. Again, patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. Elise. I will see you soon, my love. Watch Beavis and Butthead. We Lynn. are going to watch Beavis and Butthead. Let me know. I want to know. I want to feel your joy. Lynn Walsh. I come from a Lynn down under. <laughs> Alyssa. I well, come from an Alyssa down under. <laughs> <laughs> I better do it for all the names. I can't. I can't even keep up the bit. No, like, I can't even keep up the joke that I'm going to keep it up. I come from a Dustin down under. <laughs> uh, we got Brandon and Emily. <laughs> come from Brandon and Emily. It makes my body tired thinking about trying it. <laughs> it does. It hurts. Your whole, bo- your whole body. <laughs> it does. It makes it just. I'm just. I just feel weighted down with exhaustion, like a blanket has been put upon me too heavy. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, you're a heavy blanket. Oh, uh, we got Dustin. Well, we just talked about. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you again. If that's a reference, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I own a good one. I own a great one. Yeah, I own an even a better one. I've been meaning to tell you. About oh, it. it's awesome. It's the best one, but you know how these things go. There'll be another one out. Planned obsolescence. Dr. Brian. Dr. Brian. It'd be weird if, if she didn't get my my good one joke and she thought I was being an asshole. I was saying it was like, I own a 2.0. I know. I know. And you have like a 7. I am just trying to get this moving. Okay. Bill, I swear to God, we fucking talked about what your nickname was again Thursday because you had to remind me and I don't remember it again. I'm worried about me. Was it not Chili Billy? He's frozen through and through. It could be. It could be. I was that know. it? I don't know. Fucking shit. I mean, anyway. memory is terrible. I just call him Bill. Bill Farner. I just call him Bill. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Blake. I could just call him Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blake. <laughs> uh, That's his nickname is Bill. <laughs> Everyone is. Okay. For the, okay. Uh, Mark Watts. Mark Bill Watts. <laughs> Blaine Yogurt. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, just week. plain yogurt. Oh yeah. We got Jordash jeans. They're so tight. Paul. Paul's tight too. Paul is doing. He has type two diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, Cassie, and Gavora. That's, that's two people and a dog, man. <laughs> Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie, I don't think he can do it, Ernie. Maybe next time. Oh, Ernie. Oh, Ernie. It's, it's like you. you ran like right up to the hurdle and then had to like just <laughs> take a step back. You weren't ready. Oh, Ernie, uh, Robert Ducky, you're the one. There you go. Uh, Dave Siebert. <laughs> Dave Siebert makes bath time lots of fun. So I've heard. Michael Burns. Michael Burns is in my tub sometimes too. What? I don't bump. <laughs> Monica. Monica walks in and watches from the door. <laughs> Thank you so much Thanks, for everybody. listening to what I think was a, like a, a, a delightfully chaotic show. It was chaotic. I'm putting delightful in your brains, listeners, so you'll think that you found it delightful. Amy is an expert in putting in brains things. I'm all about the <laughs> counter, Cohen tell pro. I heard putting brains. She's an expert. <laughs> Amy's, 
<laughs> counterinsurgency expert. <laughs> You made me, you made me want pudding. Goodbye, <laughs> everyone. Bye. Frankenstein was wondering if he should go to bed when his old